Hello and welcome to a 14 box unboxing. We haven't even un unboxed the boxes ourselves, but we have a clue of what is inside. There should be some architectural photogrammetry cameras, uh, multiple of them. Uh, this is a brochure of one, uh, but it's in Russian, so I cannot give you a lot of data from that. But from this brochure, we can see that it's a very simple point-and-shoot camera. A camera like this is used to make uh, very, very, very precise architectural uh, photographs on which you can base either pictures of buildings or pictures of a world heritage site. Let's go for box number one. Box number one. Ooh, it seems we have film plates, but this uses glass plate negatives. So, are there film holders? Box number two. Jordan will help me. So, it seems here we have our first camera, and these puppies weigh quite a lot. Um, it has a lame gone F8 100mm Carl Zeiss Jena optic, and as you can see, it has also. A shutter inbuilt with times from one second to one four hundredth of a second and an aperture of f8 to f32 let me see ooh, ooh. here you can see where the glass plate should come the light seal foam is still okay and there you can see the back element. The box number two seems to have here's the fresh nettle glass for this camera, a tripod mount, and the actual camera. Let's go for box number three. Oh, seems to be that tripod mounting system for the camera, which, funnily enough, is pretty heavy in itself. Well, the camera is mounted obviously here, and this helps calibrate it, and that's about as much as I know about it. We didn't get the tripod, so... Number four. Oh, it's uh, the same thing as number three, but yellow. I think this is camera, it weighs so much. No, it's the same as three and four, but this time there is some kind of binocular Thing. Yeah, here's another one. You can see. Oops. Six. Same tripod head thingy, but this time with a electrical connect. Con uh, like electrical unit that probably controls the whole thing. I'm getting tired of these tripod heads. Eight. Okay, now nine. Where is nine? Nine. Ooh, a camera! Yay! Oh, fuck. A very 
very similar camera that we saw already. In fact, it's exactly the same. A lame gone 100mm f8. 10. A camera again. And the exact same camera as number 9. This most definitely is a camera. Ooh. It's a yellow camera. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Oh! It's a super lame gun. See? Super lame gun. Wow, that's wide. That must be very, very wide. And the shutter, again, from one to four hundred. And the maximum aperture, interestingly, is, is f5.6, so it's more than the basic lame gun. Okay. Here's an electric thing. More electric stuff. You can see here. It's a voltage controller of some sort. Then box number 12. I think this is gonna be something more special because it's deeper. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, this has a 200 millimeter lame tar lens with f8 aperture. Uh, the shutter is the exact same as the other ones, and there's some electrical stuff to control. So, this is getting unbelievably sweaty. Box number 13. Again, a lame tar. 300mm F11. So, just a longer lens without distortion. So, obviously this would be awesome to put into that same use they were meant to be. Uh, to do actual reproductions but I think there might be a digital way to do it that's a bit more uh, well easy nowadays so we'll have to see if this could be made into actual cameras that are used just to take photos at least the glass would be great so thank you for watching